Diamond Armor. For many years it trained as the king of all Minecraft armor sets. I mean it gives full armor bars. That's pretty good. Unless you're playing Hypixel Skyblock, that is. Where a mob you'll find in the first 15 minutes of playing will one-shot you in full diamond. In this game mode, there are dozens upon dozens of armor sets with various different uses. But only one of them is the strongest. And this is how I got it. Here's the thing. Strong equals good, and good equals expensive. Problem. My purse does not equal expensive. I mean, yeah, 400 million coins isn't that bad, but it's not enough. At all. So I decided to invest. As Ferdy Virus always says, Buy low. Sell high. P -p -pro profit so I did just that. You see, Skyblock has funny NPCs called mayors, but they're nothing like real-life mayors because they actually do good things. And a very special one that only comes once every 24 Skyblock years was just about to be elected. His name's Jerry, and I generally don't like him because he's, uh... I mean, just look at him. But as much as I hate him, I can't deny that he has great perks. The second and third perk are obviously good, but we don't care about those. The first one's where it's at. Basically, every six real life hours he'll activate all perks of another mayor. For example, the first six hours he'll have all perks of coal, which incentivize players to mine. The next six hours he'll have the perks of marina that boost fishing. And after that, he may have the perks of Poplinder, who makes you subscribe to my channel. Actually, wait, that's the current mayor, isn't it? Uh-oh, you gotta do it now. It even plays a funny sound effect when you do so. And maybe also click on this silly fella while you're down. That's okay, Pow Liner, I get it. You'll mine when Jerry has the mining perks, fish when Jerry has the fishing perks, and so on. That's really smart, Pow Liner. No! No, I will not. In fact, I will do... nothing. Or pretty much nothing, anyways. As I just mentioned, Jerry makes the skyblock landscape very predictable. Most people will just do whatever Jerry's currently buffing, and when everyone's doing the same thing and getting the same items, the price of those items crashes. But only temporarily. See what I'm getting at here? If we buy an item here and sell it here, we'll have made profit. But I don't care about the mining market, or the fishing market, or whatever. I only care about the dungeons market. Paul is a mayor that makes dungeons way better. And every time Jerry activates his perks, so many people play dungeons that the entire server becomes a PowerPoint presentation. Next slide, please. No, wait, no, wait, go back, go back. So again, many people get the same items, they flood the market with them, thus their price goes down, and so, it's a good invest... Oh, wrong, wrong slide. But wait, there's more. Because Paul also has a perk that discounts dungeon chests. So not only is everyone playing dungeons, but the chests are cheaper as well. Meaning that the items you get from them do the 2007 special and fall off a cliff. So I started putting in some buy orders. Except no. Hold up. Wait a minute. Where did all this money come from? Well, you see, when I told you I had 400 million coins to work with, I actually did an advanced strategy called lying. In reality, I had way more. However, I needed the remaining coins for the island building competition prize pool, so I can't spend them. But what I can do is invest them. Fuming potato books. Their usual price is around 1.1 to 1.3 million coins. Now, I'm no good at math, but I think under 1 million is less than that. Precursor gears, usually around 600 to 800k. Ooh, seems like they have a sale going on today. Witherblood is literally one third below market price. What the fuck? Hyperion. Actually, now that I think about it, give me some more of those fuming potato books. Anything dungeon related works, really. 
but by far the most effective flip I found were Wither Cloak Swords, which were 1 million coins below market price. I bought a few. And then some more. Okay, sure, Power Planter. That's not my name. But this is a long-term investment, right? I mean, it can't possibly just go back to normal the next day. That would mean Skyblock players are really stupid. Oh, wait. Yeah, it all went back up the next day. I literally just went to bed, woke up, and there I am, drinking my morning coffee and listing Wither Cloak Swords for 4 million coins. Here's the best part, though. As we already know, Jerry cycles through mayor perks every 6 hours, meaning that he gets through 4 mayors per day. But there's not that many mayors to go through. And Jerry doesn't leave office for another, like, 4 days. It was time for Paul 2. So Logan Paul was back, and this time I bought even more of everything. I also tried recombobulators. They weren't that good. But the other stuff carried, so it was fine. You already know what happened next. Go to sleep, wake up and sell everything, and look at funny money number go up. And then two days later, I did it all over again. How much money did I make from this, you ask? Yes. I don't know, okay? It was over a five-day period, and I sold a bunch of things and bought a bunch of other things. But what I do know is that I finally had enough to buy what I wanted. I mean, you saw it in the thumbnail, right there in the center. The best of the best, the king of all armor sets. It was, of course, the Crimson... I bought a funny talisman. Why did I do this? But I do like 8k more damage now. Uh, come on, it's worth it, bro. This is so good. And then shortly after, Jerry left. And sadly, that meant I had to finally change up my money-making strategy. Oh, hey, the new mayor's Paul, my guy. You know how this goes, I won't bore you any further. But after investing literally almost all of the money I had available and flipping the items for a considerable profit, I had enough coins to buy what I wanted. Again, it's a really good talisman, okay? It's worth it. It's worth the 270 million. I'm not coping, you're coping. Okay, but the thing about flipping is that it's basically just typing funny numbers into the bazaar. And while this requires pretty much no time at all, you still gotta be online to check on the orders every now and then. What I'm getting at is that I can either run circles around the hub waiting for my stuff to sell, or do something in between flipping. But luckily, I already knew exactly what I wanted to do from the very beginning. So there's this thing called Skyblock Level, and I ordinarily wouldn't really care, but get this. The color of your level changes every 40 levels and it's displayed on the tab menu for maximum clout. I want the next color. Here's a nice graphic I made of the different level cutoffs. I even added descriptions for each of them. My current level is 243, and the goal is 280. That's 37 levels. That's a lot of levels. But there's also a lot of things I just never did. And one of them is fishing. Not normal fishing though. See, whereas normal fishing is cool because you fight big sea creatures and get rare loot, there exists another type of fishing called trophy fishing, where you get exciting drops such as netherrack and coal. And all you do is this. Yeah, it kinda sucks, but it gives a lot of skyblock XP. So, uh. Let's go! Let's go! Trophy fishing! Yeah! Your objective is to collect all 18 different trophy fish in all 4 rarities. And while I already had all bronzes and silvers, the gold and diamond ones are kinda tough. For example, there's this one fish called the Karate Fish, which has a 1% chance of being caught in the dojo area. And that's like, okay, but then only 0.22% of Karate Fish are diamond. Meaning there is a 0.0022% base chance of getting a diamond karate fish per catch. And that's only one of the 18 you need. There's also this one which makes you wait 20 seconds between catches. And I sincerely hope that it finds the nearest rope. Naturally, trophy fishing makes you spiral into insanity within the first hour of fishing. 
That's a piano. But it's really funny when you do it with other people because they also go insane. You know what I've been thinking about recently? No. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Necron. What are you doing? <laughs> Amongst all the insanity, I even listed an implosion belt for 980 million instead of 980,000. Uh oh, stupid liner. You genuinely feel your mind and soul leaving your body when you're doing this, though. I mean, don't take it from me. This is what Ari started saying in the middle of a trophy fishing session. Let any fish oh, who meets my I gaze know, dude, look the true meaning of fear. <laughs> for I am the harbinger of death. The oh, bane creature is subaquacious, my rod is what true and unwavering. As I cast... I am alone, I am empty. And yet... I fish. <laughs> Woman. In total, I fished for quite a bit of time, and got up to 16 out of 18 golds and 6 out of 18 diamonds, which gave me around 4 skyblock levels. At this point, I also realized that carpentry levels give skyblock XP. I haven't even unlocked carpentry. Uh oh, liar alert! It says so right here in your skycrypt that you're actually carpentry 24, you ape! Okay, okay, calm down. The thing is, while I was Carpentry 24 at this point, I never actually unlocked the skill. So the in-game menu still displayed that. How did this happen? I think it was one of those... Uh, what do they call them again? Oh yeah, bugs. That's a bug! That is a bug! But then they kinda patched it, and I couldn't gain any more Carpentry XP until I actually gave the carpenter the 64 wool he's been waiting over 3 years for. I hate you. I hate you, carpenter. But I did get 5 skyblock levels from this, so that's pretty good. I also got a few levels from doing random things here and there. So by the end of all the flipping, I was level 260. And you know what they say about 260? It's basically 280. So I just changed the number 260 to 280 in SBE, and there we go. Haters will say it's fake. No, oh, Paldiner, you can't just do that. That's, that's illegal. Simon will get you. Anyways, none of that matters because it was now finally time to buy the armor. The armor set is called Crimson Armor and it starts out like this. Yeah, it's not good, but you can upgrade it. And not just once, you can upgrade it 59 times. And if I want to do that, I'd need 6.6 .6 million Crimson Essence. Now let me run some numbers here to see how much that'll cost. So at 1.7k per Crimson Essence, that would be... Oh! Okay. Due to uh, technical difficulties, I can't upgrade it all the way, but I can still make it really good. I first needed to buy it though. Crimson Armor is one of the 5 Kudra armor sets, meaning that it comes with two predetermined perks called Attributes. Now if you watched my previous video, you'll know that it's a complete lottery which attributes you get. And out of the 272 different possible attribute combinations, I was only looking for one of them. The first of the two attributes is called Magic Find, and it gives you... magic... Find. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. More magic find, more rare drops, more money. Mmm, I love money. And the second one is veteran, which gives you more combat XP so that you can spawn slayer bosses faster and in turn get more rare drops and more Wait, money. Wait, I think I've seen this before. I love money. Surprise money fact. Did you know that you can give me money and save your own money by using code Powerliner at checkout on the Hypixel store. I know, a true marvel of modern technology. Anyways, this magic find veteran attribute combination isn't some ancient wisdom passed down the Powerliner family. Everyone knows it's the best one. And as such, it's not exactly cheap. 
But here is some wisdom that not everyone knows. In Skyblock, there's three different stats which impact your melee damage. Damage, Strength and Crit Damage. And due to how the damage formula works, you want as close of a balance of Strength and Crit Damage as possible. Hit a little boogie with it. But Powliner, what does that have to do with the Crimson Armor? Shh. Crimson Armor gives both of these stats, but the Strength is notably higher. And if I get a full set of Crimson Armor, they'll be way too off balance. This is where the POW liner wisdom that I definitely, for sure, under any circumstance, didn't steal from Astral, TM, copyright, rights reserved, comes in. What if we take the most expensive piece of Crimson Armor, in this case the boots, and replace them with the crit damage heavy terror boots? Not only would I have better damage, I'd also save a bunch of money, and it looked like I got Gucci shoes on, I mean look at them! It's genius, and I came up with it on my own, for sure. And so I bought the god armor. I got the crimson chestplate for 155 million coins, the crimson leggings for 147 million coins, the terror helmet for 36 million coins, because I'm stupid and I forgot I needed boots and not a helmet, and the terror boots for 50 million coins. But it's okay, because I flipped the terror helmet. For a loss. Of like, 8 million coins. Okay, maybe it's not okay. I also bought the watermelon skin for my plasma flux. So now my orb is a watermelon. Hey, complete coincidence. But did you know that with code Powliner at checkout... But that was just the base armor. It was now time to upgrade it. I had 200,000 Crimson Essence to my name, and I was gonna spend all of it. I decided to get the leggings to 10 star burning, the boots to 5 star fiery, and the chest plate to infernal. My first ever infernal piece. Then I threw on some enchantments, reforges, gems, the Lego Technic Ford Raptor truck, you know, the usual. And after 20 minutes of combining stuff in an anvil, the armor set was finally ready. Also, here's the full price now. Wow, didn't know numbers went that high. Much like how I didn't know numbers went that low. Also, also, I forgot about something. The attributes were still low level at this point, so I decided to buy a few armor pieces, did some more epic skyblock anvil gameplay, and got them to magic find 6 and veteran 5. This wasn't cheap, by the way. Uh oh, do you hear that? That's the damage test alarm, uh oh! My previous best melee armor was Free Forks Necron with a Warden Helmet. And with it, I deal 1.18 million damage with a Giant Sword. Not bad, but if we swap out the Necron for our new Crimson and Terror Giga combo, I'll deal... 1.28 million damage. Okay, it's not that big of a difference, but it's still pretty chunky. That's like 8.5%, that's not bad. The thing is though, not only is this armor far from completely maxed out, it also makes me way tankier, which actually does matter for a lot of tougher bosses. And it gives magic find and combat XP, and the crimson armor set bonus is somehow still bugged, so it makes you hit twice for some reason. Okay, Poo Liner, the new armor is cool and all, but you're still using that stinky, smelly, stupid warden helmet. Why not the crimson helmet, hmm? Dear viewer, I assure you there are two great reasons for this. Reason one, my, my purse. Reason two, besides the crimson essence, these armor pieces also need two other resources to upgrade, heavy pearls and kudra teeth. The former are not an issue, I have a lot. But the Kudra teeth are only found in Kudra chests. And I kinda spent a lot of them for my Terror and Aurora armor already. So after upgrading this Crimson set, I was at a solid... 1 Kudra teeth. Tooth? How can there even be a single teeth? It's like saying, oh look, a potatoes. Wait, that might have been a bad example. Anyways, shortly after getting this armor, Diana became mayor. And with her, she brought an event called Mythological Rituals. 
where you teleport back and forth around the hub like a schizo. Dig funny burrows, fight funnier mobs, and that's it. Well, you can get loot, but all the good stuff is rare. Really rare. Maybe the real loot were the friends we made along the way? Oh, never mind, the friends can go. There it is. That's the real loot. I just got a Chimera book. A 1% chance drop from a 1% chance mob. And then, literally like 10 minutes later, I got another really rare drop. A Daedalus stick from a Minotaur. Obviously, these two rare drops were because of the bonus magic find on the new armor. Even though I wasn't even using it to finish off the Minas Inquisitor, I was in sorrow. But for the Daedalus stick, it for sure mattered, right guys? Right? Oh yeah, and I've been making this video for so long now that another Diana rolled around, and I got a Minas relic as well. Oh, I got a Minas relic! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? If you want to get better armor like I did, maybe check out the giveaway I have going on in my Discord. Go, 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 go! Link in the description. Okay, bye! Thank you.